Oh man, L D W M M A C. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, this fight, this fight. You know, I found out, man. And, you know, I follow my girl Janae Hollapoint Harden on social media, man. And uh, I'm gonna kick myself, man, because you know, because I told her, I said, Janae, you know, whenever you have a fight, I'm gonna reach out to you for an interview. She said, Okay, okay, and. I didn't get to interview this young, young talent, man, before she stepped into the octagon versus Amanda Bell. Um, Janae Hollow Point Harding is a talent. It's a cold talent. And when I say cold, it's a diamond in the rough. That talent is slowly manifesting before our eyes. And the fighter that Janae Hollow Point Harding is destined to be is starting to happen. Guys, I want to talk about this fight, okay? And I'm going to give you an honest and fair breakdown, okay? This fight, I knew it was going to be skill versus will, okay? Skill being Janae Hollapoint Harding and Amanda Bell being a will. Uh, my criticism of Bell over the past have been, you know, she's not very skillful. But Amanda Bell, she's going to bite down on her mouthpiece and she's going to be there. Okay, she's going to come at you for three rounds, five rounds, it doesn't matter. Amanda Bell is going to come at you and she's going to continuously come forward. That's Amanda Bell's style. She's more of a brawler. Um, Amanda Bell does have a, a, a very good ground game. And I always used to wonder, you know, like, why don't Amanda Bell really take control of fights using her ground game? Because people don't really know it's there because you're used to Amanda Bell doing one thing. That's just trying to maul and brawl you. Well, these two, they have something in common, okay? They both got knocked out by Arlene Blenko, okay? And it's, it's kind of crazy, man, that, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. Did some matchmaker set this up? Did somebody? Sure they did. Sure they did, okay? Somebody knew this, and they put them in. But I thought that this was going to be a good fight, a matchup on paper. And this fight did not disappoint me, okay? In round one, Janae Harding, you can definitely see the stand-up adjustments that she's made in a fight game. Um, Janae is looking crisp, man. She's looking crisp. Like her punches are very, very clean and, and they're very technical. And Janae, you, you can even see in this picture right here when Janae is throwing a jab, you know, she's keeping her hand up, you know. Like in the past when I would see Janae throw a jab, she'd keep her hands down. You know, Janae is also too, she's using a lot of movement, man. You know, her movements are a little bit more technical. They're a little bit more clean. They're a little bit more sound, you know. And I'm like, Janae is actually becoming a fighter that I know that she can be. And I kept telling y'all, Stop looking at records when it comes to these women. Stop looking at records, okay? This girl can fight. And I will stand by every single word of what I say. Janae Harding can fight. Um, in round one, Janae Harding was piecing up Amanda Bell. And she was doing it with a jab. And then she would come back with a right hand. Uh, Janae Harding continued to try for this, this head kick. And I kept saying, okay, okay, okay. Maybe she sees something. Maybe she sees something. Because I, I don't really see it right now. Because Amanda Bell would catch the kick. And then she would pin Janae against the cage. So I'm like, okay, maybe Janae sees something. And then um, Janae was having a wardrobe malfunction with her shorts, man. Like her shorts had a, a, a small tear in it. You couldn't see anything, man. And I thought that, you know, the tear in the shorts. I just, I don't know, man. I think the ref, he could have let it go. Because you, you couldn't see, you know, anything through. It was like a, a, a microscopic tear. Like you barely see. But anyway, uh, Janae changed out shorts. And then immediately she delivered a head kick to Amanda Bell. And she dropped her. And I said, man, this fight might be over. And so Janae went in for it, man. But um, I started to see, you know, why. Like the announcers kept saying, you know, um, Amanda Bell has a good ground game. And, you know, maybe Janae need to keep the fight standing. I started to understand why. Because when Janae went to the ground to try to finish her out on ground and pound, Amanda Bell, she was doing some small, subtle, technical things. Like, number one, she was making all the shots that Janae was throwing. She was deflecting a lot of those shots. And then, too, you know, she started getting her hands and her feet in there to try to discourage Janae from getting a full amount. Because Janae, was, she was working hard for that full amount, but Amanda Bell wasn't having it. Amanda Bell was not having a full amount, and she chose not to have it in that round one. Didn't happen. Round two was Amanda Bell's best round. Uh, Janae started to fight out, and um, she was actually doing a good job, sticking and moving, jabbing, setting up her right hand. And uh, Janae was looking good. But, you know, Amanda Bell began to come forward. She began to close the distance. And you can actually see, you know, like, why, you know, I, me personally, I wanted the fight to stay, you know, I wanted Janae to stay standing. Uh, so, um, 
Amanda Bell got the fight to the ground. Janae did a, a damn good job of scrambling, though. You know, her ground game has gotten better, too, you know. And I'm looking at Janae and who she is, and I'm like, you know, give Janae one more year. And I'm telling y'all, Janae Harding going to be probably one of the most dangerous fighters in a 145-pound division. Okay, guys, I'm telling y'all, you heard it here first. Janae Hollow Point Harding is going to be one of the most dangerous fighters in the division come in one year. But, um... Janae did a good scramble, but Amanda Bell, you know, she wasn't having it. And, Jan and Amanda Bell kept the ground and pound going, okay? She was able to keep Janae on the ground, and the ref was he, was, he was close to stopping the fight. Which, I didn't even think Janae was, was I didn't even think she was in any, any danger of being hurt. You know, and Janae was blocking a lot of the punches. She was still moving, but the ref, you know, kept coming over there, man. And I'm like, God, what, what, what is up with these ball hitter referees, man? But uh, Janae survived round two. She got out of there. Uh, round three... Uh, Janae started to round out again. You know, she was really tagging Amanda Bell with the jab. That jab, man, I'm telling you, that jab was a thing of beauty. And Amanda Bell didn't know what to do. Okay, she didn't have an answer for the jab. And I wish Janae just would have stuck to just popping a jab. But Amanda Bell came in and got to fight uh, to the ground. And Janae was able to reverse position. And, uh, and I was thinking to myself, okay, Janae, you know, disengage. You know, let Amanda stand back up and you do your thing. Okay, but Janae chose to stay on the ground, and Janae was fishing for a rear naked choke, and it was good, you know, but um, when the rear naked choke was not there, you know, I think Janae should have disengaged and just got up, but like, I think she should have did that, but Janae tried to fight on the ground, and I honestly think that Janae was, like, testing her ground game. I think that she was really trying to test that ground game out, and really, you know, she wanted to go to the ground with Amanda Bell, and I'm just, I, it just wasn't advisable, because you can kind of tell that Amanda has a lot of experience in defending rear naked chokes and submissions and Janae tried she was trying to get it but Amanda Bell just wasn't having it and so Amanda Bell was able to reverse the position you know Amanda rotated her hips into Janae's stomach I'm sorry rotated her hips away from Janae's stomach she rotated into Janae and she got they were both belly to belly and uh, Amanda Bell was able to start getting the ground and pound so Amanda rotated into Janae. They were belly to belly. And then Amanda was able to start to get the ground and pound. She successfully reversed the position. And I started saying, man, this don't look good. And so Janae, you know, ended up giving up her back. And Amanda started hitting in the back, well, in the side of the head. Um, Janae was still doing a good job of defending any chokes that Amanda would try. But the ref, yeah, but 14 seconds left. You know, Janae wasn't, was no, she was not in danger. But the ref stopped the fight anyway, okay? Because sometimes you got to block, man, because you don't want to get the hit. You don't want to get hit, and you're trying to move, and as you're moving, you're getting hit. Well, fighters don't want to, they want to block, get some of them punches. You know, it's like, give them time to think, man. I think the refs sometimes, when they're getting grounded and pounded and they're blocking, the refs, they mistake that as for, oh, man, well, they, they hurt, uh, you know, they can't return fire, and that's not it. They're trying to think. They're trying to think on how, okay, what can I do next to get out of this? Well, Janae wasn't hurt. She wasn't hurt at all, but the ref stopped the fight. Um, to me, this fight was Janae's to lose, okay? And it was just, it was more so the octagon IQ that lost Janae this fight. It wasn't that Amanda Bell was this really, really smart opponent. It's just Amanda Bell just remained very patient. And Amanda Bell was waiting on an opportunity. And so when Amanda realized that the fight was going to the ground, Amanda said, okay, well, I think my ground game is better than hers, so we're just going to be on the ground, and I'm going to make her earn it. And that's what happened. Amanda Bell took this fight. Uh, she stayed on the ground. And I think had Janae would have just elected to just stand up, Okay, just to get the fight back standing. Because cause she had a chance to just disengage, and she didn't do it. Now, that was my whole thing, man. If Janae would have stood back up, man, she probably would have ended up, you know, doing more damage and winning this fight. That's what it was. But, uh, you know, it's a learning lesson for Janae Hollow Point Hardy. You know here at CSH Combat Sports, you know, you know we support the Hollow Point. You know we got it. You know, and um, I think that Janae is getting better and better, though. I see the evolution of her skill set. And I, I can't wait to see what's next for both of these ladies. Congratulations to Amanda Bell on a fight, a very, very good fight, and a job well done. It's your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.